Again. Time now for the weekly trivia. Face, face, face. Jason and Alexis versus everybody in a pop culture quiz thing. Powered by Trivia Mafia. Here's your host, Holly Roberts. Now make like a woman whose neighbor has a pet chimpanzee and face off. <laughs> it's Friday. It's 8.30. It's time for WTF, the weekly trivia face-off. It's Jason and Alexis versus our very special celebrity guest team. And this morning, we are joined by weekly dish host Stephanie Hansen and Twin Cities Live co-host Elizabeth Reese. Woo! Welcome! Hello, friends. Jason, that shirt is excellent. Oh, my T-shirt. Yeah, it's Paul Lind, Paul and it just Lynn. says gay, very large, <laughs> gay, in, in 72-point font. That's right, yes. Oh, my yeah. goodness. So here's how the game's going to go. We have 10 questions in the game, and each team will play three questions in the first segment. Then we're going to pause, take a break, do the final two questions in the second segment, and we'll be alternating questions between the teams. So, for example, we're going to start with Jason and Alexis and then move on to Stephanie and Elizabeth, and you get to work together as a team to solve these junk food questions. Ooh, I would just like food. to complain about the excessive rule list that I got from Holly Roberts. It was like <laughs> 12 bullet points. That's um, right. I was we scared. Don't, <laughs> we don't mess around here no, on the morning no. show. And I was like, wait, is this professionally uh, produced? Oh, yes. Is. She's a professional. She absolutely mm-hmm. is. Now, I would like to confess that I didn't read the 12 bullet points. I'm coming into this <laughs> totally blind. Um, but I have a delicious cup of bone broth that I'm consuming while we chat with of you. course you are and, um i miss you guys so much when my little phone alarm went off that i needed to be with you at 8 20 i was beside myself with joy it felt like uh, the old days we oh. miss you sweetheart oh well good mm-hmm. thing that you're coming in not re- knowing the rules but i'm gonna read them to you right now <laughs> Here are the rules for WTF. Teams have 20 seconds to submit their answers. Your 20 seconds begins after I have asked the question in full. You will need to say final answer to submit your answer. Now, here's the deal. If you don't submit an answer before the 20 seconds is up or your answer is wrong, the opposing team can steal and they will have 10 seconds to steal. Now, the team with the most points at the end of the game wins. And if we are tied at the end, we're going into a tiebreaker. We do that Price is Right style. It's numerical. So the team that gets closest to the actual number without going over will win today's WTF. Got See it. those rules? There's a well, lot Stephanie, of them. You had a They're... horror-looking face like you're terrified. Buck up, Stephanie Hansen. Yeah, buck up, Hansen. <laughs> buck up, Hansen. Buck up, Hansen. Today again is junk food. So we're in the wheelhouse of food. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Junk food? Does Elizabeth I'm, Reese no, eat I'm, junk food? I'm no, drinking she's drinking bro. Frog. <laughs> okay, maybe we got this, Jason. Maybe we do have this. I mean, look at them, Lex, and look at us. Who eats junk food? Us. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're going to start with our first question, <gasps> Team Jason and Alexis. Here is your first question. Oh, God. In our junk food edition of WTF, here we go. The oh very first episode of Mythbusters investigated the rumored death of Mikey the Life cereal kid. According to an urban legend, he died of a ruptured stomach after drinking a two-liter bottle of soda and eating six pouches of what candy? I, I think it's pouch? Pop Rocks. It's Pop Rocks. Okay. I think it's Pop Rocks. Okay, final answer. Final answer? <gasps> Yes! yes! Jace! Pop rocks! <gash> wow. Yeah, we're, this is bad. <laughs> wow, I couldn't no. even eat a, table, oh. a teaspoon of Pop Rocks and my whole uh, body. Hanson! I was too. thinking Hanson. Mentos. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's a pouch? What goes in a pouch? Hanson, do not be negative. Your uh, Elizabeth Reese is positive. Be positive, Stephanie Hanson. Am I coming across as negative? I'm just scared. You're fearful. No, I'm just. You're fearful. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Right, yeah, you're Elizabeth, fearful. Elizabeth, Stephanie, here is your first question in right. in our WTF junk food edition. 
What snack brand is legally required to promote their products as crisps because they're made from reconstituted potato powder, I know this. not natural slices? We know this, don't we? One, two, we three, do. let's say it together. Pringles. 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 Final answer. Here you go. Pringles. See? Yes. See, yes. Steph? Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, and I, I do want to tell you that the questions are going to get harder as we move along. <laughs> no details. <laughs> All right, oh Jason gosh. and Alexis, here's question number two. Oh, God. An old Scottish term for moonshine lends its name to what soft drink whose logo was shortened from 11 letters to six in 2008? What? Whose logo went down to six letters? Um, Swedish. Is it is it a pop? It's she said soft oh, drink, soft right? Soft drink. Um, okay. Um, what's a soft drink? Soft uh, drink. It's uh, Dr. Pepper, Mr. Answer. Pitt. Final answer. Final answer, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. uh, er and Stephanie uh, for the steal. Stephanie, you got it. I think it's Mountain Dew, but that's uh, yeah. only five letters. Is that is your final answer? I know. I think that's why that was my gut feeling too. But that doesn't make sense with the letters. Well, you know what? That's right. Oh! What? Yeah. What? Mountain Dew! Oh, my God. Mountain Dew. Oh, man. It went from, I don't drink that stuff. It no. went from Mountain no. Dew to Mountain mm -mm Dew. Oh, yeah. Really? M-T-N-D-E-W. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh. I I was yeah. counting the period as yeah. MT period do. Okay. <laughs> oh, Good job, uh, staff. Oh my, see, Good Hansen. job. See, Hanson? Oh, right, I'm happy to be on your team. I want to sign up to play this every week. Okay, keep going. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our second question. Our second junk food question for Elizabeth Reese and Stephanie Hansen. What Detroit based pizza chain? changed its 58-year-old logo in 2017 when it finally decided to remove the chest hair. Detroit-based pizza chain. Um, is it Little Caesars? Yeah, probably, because that guy had a tunic on, remember? He had like a man onesie. Okay, let's finally answer man. that. Yep, yep. Let's Little yeah. Caesars! Stephanie, uh, oh my gosh. Guys, All of the years no. of being on the weekly dish with you and being your number one fill-in, FYI, that's my greatest job, is paying off. Off, Woo! it is. You guys are kicking. Yes. This This is not going to go well for us. No, Alex. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jason yeah. and Alexis have one point. Elizabeth uh, and uh, Stephanie have three points. Let's do our last questions before we go to break. Here we go, Jason and Alexis. Your third question. What cartoon character who debuted in 1963 was born on an island in the Sea of Milk? The Sea of Milk? <laughs> oh my god they get freaking uh, little caesar's hairy yeah, chest and we get a cartoon character dipped in milk um i know the sea of milk a uh, captain crunch uh, final yes final, final answer Cap yes <laughs> what? That was good, Jason. Jason. Yes. Amazing. Captain <sighs> Crunch, born in the oh. Sea of Milk in 19... 19- I could see oh. the visual with the palm tree. Oh. Remember Me that? too. Like in I... the middle of the milk. That and was I good. ate a lot of that as a little little uh, fat kid. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Marjorie Perry just FF. told a story about like getting wooed by crunch berries in the end cap at the grocery store oh, on a yeah. podcast in a recent episode, and she oh yeah, she told it with both pride and shame. It was a great yep. dichotomy. As a FFK former fat kid, I uh, <laughs> Captain Crunch was my mascot. Yes, it burns the roof of your mouth, though. Man, it destroys your mouth. Oh, That's when it's good, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One last question for Elizabeth and uh, Stephanie before we go to break here. All right, Elizabeth and Stephanie, Starry is a new lemon lime soft drink distributed yeah. by PepsiCo, replacing what soft drink? In Pepsi's line of sodas. It's Sierra Mist. It's Sierra Mist. Final answer. I tried it and it's bad. Yes. It's worse <laughs> than Sierra Mist? Yes, it yes. Is Sierra yeah, it's so <laughs> sickeningly sweet. Yeah, I had to try it on Twin Cities Live. Man, this I was uh, born for this you game. You guys, yes! We you did are. Wow. Yeah. Well, here's you the deal. Steal? I want to tell you, Jason, Alexis, Elizabeth, Stephanie, it is anybody's game because we have two more questions each. Before we go uh, in the second half of the game, Jason and Alexis, you have two points. 
Elizabeth and Stephanie, you have four points. Oh my God! So anybody's game as we go to break. It's a- <laughs> we're going yeah. to break and, 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 and a word, over and, through commercials. And a, and a word from our sponsor, Pepsi. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> the timer will begin after I complete the uh, the question. Here we go. Okay. What controversial Halloween themed confection was originally called chicken feed when it was invented in the 1880s? Uh, candy corn. Final answer. Candy corn. Final <gasps> answer. That was good. It wasn't yes. the peanut butter Starburst. Oh, those are all disgusting <laughs> candy. Pioneers oh. really like Offensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you hear, Holly? Pioneers really loved the peanut butter Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, all right. Well, good job. Now, uh, Jason and Alexis have three points. Oh, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth and Stephanie have four. Let's move on to ER and Hanson's next question in our WTF Spectacular. In 2012, Taco Bell changed its slogan to Live Moss. What was their slogan for 11 years before that? It was Yo Quiero Taco Bell, right? Or was it Run to the Border? Oh, it was probably Run to the Border. I think, I think so. It, yeah, let's go with you. Yes, I spent yes, yes. a lot of shame eating in the car looking at that bag. <laughs> I get it. Okay. I get it. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yep. <laughs> well, can you repeat that? Oh, now I'm wondering, Elizabeth, because she's making you repeat it. She's making no. you repeat it. Well, Run to the Border, final answer. It, okay, no, it's for the steal. Oh, um, it was a long time. It was Think Outside the Bun. Think Outside the Bun. Yes. No. Oh my God, Alexis! I'm kissing you right now through the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Steal. She's thinking outside the bun. I was thinking you were right. Yo quiero taco bell. Yo quiero taco bell. Yeah, oh good. my God. Yeah. That's a lot of I, Taco Bell slogans. Oh They're God, really I'm, good at marketing. Right. I'm hardcore kissing you right now, right through the camera. Tuesday thing. <laughs> yeah. I wish they were better at making the meat taste better. They ruined it. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I, okay, Hanson. This isn't a food review, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I can't critique. <laughs> That's All amazing. Meat or specific meat in particular. <laughs> Don't the encourage the her, meat. Alexis. The beef oh. meat. They added wheat TPT, I think. It's different. Okay, and never That's say like, beef oh, meat again. Can Holly, beef can meat. we just make a rule? Never say beef meat again. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Yeah. Can I say wiener meat? No. <laughs> no, no, that's worse. no. Like wiener Elizabeth, mobile, get your Elizabeth, okay. get your teammate oh, in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you you know her. She can't be tamed. That's part of her I charm. Know. Yeah. You know what, right. Stephanie? This is a family show. No suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though we did show. say Merwang in the last hour, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. and yeah. talked yeah. about those creepy Duggar people. Yeah. Oh, well, oh gosh. Say, well, you know what? <sighs> With that steal, the game is now tied four Shoot. to four. Shoot. I lost That's it okay, for us, Elizabeth. No, you did not. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. Uh, we're going to go to Jason and Alexis. Here is their last question in Junk Food WTF. <laughs> Fuego. <laughs> Jason and Alexis, Fuego. Oh, God, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> is the best selling variety of what rolled corn tortilla chip, which also comes in such flavors as Angry Burger, Blue heat and lava. Taquitos. Is that a it's like, it's, yeah, the Taki. Q told me. The young people told me about it. Taki. I don't. A Taki. Final answer. Did you call it a Taquito? No, you don't speak It is Taki. Taki's <laughs> Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> have you ever had a Taki? I haven't. Yes, he he gave me some. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, Elizabeth Alexis, never thank had you. one. No, I've I had, had one. one once, and I've had one once too. Yeah, no, my body is a bone my inside hole. You guys, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So Jason and Alexis have five points. Uh, <gasps> Elizabeth Reese and Stephanie Hanson oh, have four <laughs> points, but they have one more question to play. Oh God. Okay. If, we, if they get this correct. Oh God. Oh my gosh, my armpits are sweating. I know. We're oh. also type A. What yeah. did happen when we took a quiz at school? <laughs> so much. Stress. This. <laughs> this, yeah. Yes. All right, here's your last question, Elizabeth and Stephanie. Oh, God. Which came first, York Peppermint Patties or the Peanuts character Peppermint Patty? <gasps> <gasps> 
I kind of think York peppermint patties. I think so too. They've Elizabeth. been around for a long time. That's like Pearson's a real candy yeah. company in St. Paul on West Seventh Street. They're so good. They're refreshing. Yeah, real refreshing. Is that your final answer? Is it the character? Uh, I Charles mean, Charles. Charlie Five Brown. Okay. All right, let's the peppermint patty. The no, patty. let's go with the candy. Yeah, the, the, the candy. We'll the candy. It. Well, we're going to tiebreaker mode here ah! because. No! <laughs> no! Oh, oh God! Okay, we okay, gotta do this quick. We gotta do this quick. Oh. Served me. I need okay. one representative from each team Jace, to you, play please. our tiebreaker. No, Lex! Please, you, you, you. Okay, fine. You did get no, you. You no, knew. No, you get it, Stephanie. One hundred percent. This is you. You came oh, in right. with the last one too. Come oh on. God! Our question: Price is oh. right style. The closest to the actual number without going over wins. I, oh God! I'm peeing literally right now in my pants. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Tiebreaker question. <laughs> How many acres of pizza? For. Here we go. How many acres of pizza are eaten in America every year? Jason, starting with your number. Oh What's my God! Acre? Starting with me? Yep. Oh, acres of pizza. Acres of pizza. Oh. I'm gonna oh. say a million. Lex, look at me. A million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you? How do you feel, Lex? <laughs> Million? Go for it. Okay. Million final answer. All right. All right. <laughs> Elizabeth, okay. Stephanie. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> How many acres of pizza are eaten in America every year? Need a number. A million one. Because it's more okay. than an... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Well, here's ah! the thing. You're both wrong. Uh, oh, both way over. <laughs> way over. It's 36,500 acres. <laughs> and guess <laughs> what? <laughs> We're going to be leaving today's game with a tie. No. Yes. We have to come back, rematch. though, to break the tie. Rematch. Rematch. <laughs> yes. Rematch. Rematch. Good to have you guys back. That yes. was so fun. Thank you. Thanks to Elizabeth. Thanks to Hanson. How much an acre is. Yeah. <laughs>